Hello, Hank's channel. So here's what has happened. I came across this video, almost an hour long, of a necropsy of an ocean sunfish, or a moa moa. One of my favorite fish. I'm not saying it's my favorite fish. Sometimes it's my favorite fish. They're really good fish. It's how it's the, the, the fish that kicked off the Bizarre Beasts uh, project and now uh, its own YouTube channel. If you don't know about that, you can go to youtube.com slash Bizarre Beasts and follow my new YouTube channel where we're talking about amazing animals. So I see find this video of this necropsy and it's amazing. It's for clarity, warning, disgusting. Like they're gonna be fishing around inside of this fish. They're got their intestines are coming out the you know the kidneys dissolved like it's bad but it's also amazing but it, the youtube channel it was on and like all the credit in the world of the people who took this video uh it was it, it, they they weren't paying attention to how they were holding the camera and so it's upside down at times and it's sideways a lot of the time so i was having a hard time watching it and sort of getting the maximum enjoyment out of it and like understanding exactly what was going on inside of the sunfish and i decide hey it's 10 o'clock on a tuesday i have tons of stuff to do why don't i edit this video so that it's the right way around most of the time zoom in when i can uh edit out the parts that you know there's nothing really going on and so it's a little bit shorter for everybody to enjoy in a different way I didn't ask permission to do this. I am just assuming that Ro Anderson, who made this video, is okay with me re-uploading it so that it is more viewable because it seems to me like they are the kind of person who wants more people to be interested in sunfish. It just seems like we're aligned in that, so probably this is fine. If it's not, let me know. I will take the video down. Uh, this was this video is taken in Provincetown Harbor, Massachusetts. And you can find out more about the work of the people who are doing this necropsy at nebshark.org. Uh, that's for the New England Ocean Sunfish and Basking Shark Project. And it's interesting, like it's interesting to see how science works because they talk a lot in this video about the, the fact that they don't know how to age mola mola right now so that, like there's no way when one washes up to tell how old it is and it's crazy because they're talking in this video about how this is an, an immature mola mola so this is a it's it looks very big of course but they get much bigger than this but they can tell uh by the ovary that it's not a mature fish so uh but they don't know how old it is and they have no way of telling the systems that we use for aging different fish don't work for mola mola because they don't have the same structures because they're extremely weird and so they're trying to figure out different ways to age them and that's really interesting to me because it shows that like all of the things that we know are things that we've figured out you know 10 years from now i bet we'll have a good way to age ocean sunfish and that will because be because of the hard work of people like these who are and also the other thing that the big takeaway from this video is just how much work, like physical work, necropsy can be. Um, and also like, it's disgusting. And it's like, it, nobody is like, like sugarcoating this. It's not like, well, it's not actually disgusting. It's just the inside of it. No, it's gross. It's gross. There's parasites. The thing that's been, a, it's been dead for a while. So it's dissolving. There's smells that thank goodness we cannot smell. But I just wanted you to be able to watch this video um, and have it available up on the internet for, for everybody because dang it, some days that's what I want to do with my time. So I, now I have some other th stuff that is work work that I have to do, but this is, this was my, this was my, uh, hobby time for the day. So I hope everybody enjoys it. Thanks. Hank's channel. Bye. Let me know. Okay. Thank you. She's Italian. She'll make a stew out of it. <laughs> I'm Italian. <laughs> You are? 100%. Me too. Yeah. Okay, so here's the vent. That's why she's so here's the a intestine, knife. right? Coming down. And then here's the gonad. Okay. What's a gonad? Looks, it's an ovary or a testy. They have one ovary well in and one testy. <laughs> and it looks like it's a girl. I told we you. We knew it. Why do you know it's a girl? It looks because the girls have like um, The ovary looks like a big baseball oh, you know you where the chest me? is long yeah i'm gonna pull it right up oh, you want to take a cool. picture yeah we do wow. that is so oh yeah cool. see so the gulls come up here and they pull and that they can out. pull the ovary out they don't care about the testy yeah sometimes i've gone nuts i'm like where is it <laughs> i get it gone nuts. where can i do it so i'm gonna come up 
and you'll see it's funny this body cavity is like like here mm -hmm. and then all of this is meat white meat no red meat so it's not the um, collagen up there oh it's collagen muscle? everywhere collagen's everywhere can't get to anything unless you get to, through the collagen so do liver. sharks? Wow. Wow. So that's their protection because cool. they don't have oh, that's teeth. Orange shark teeth. Shark teeth. You know, teeth. So oh, fast, they're not fast. They're they, not. Also, they also have, oh, give me on my, they also have a very um, reduced skeleton. Mm -hmm. So I think you don't really need a defined skeleton mm -hmm. if you got that stuff. Right. right. And the bones, right. they're classified as the heaviest bony fish, but the bones when they try are like balsa wood. Wow, yeah. The weirdest Inter thing. That's yeah, and still weirdest strong thing. Yeah. yeah. That. yeah. Wow. So here's oh my god, it's huge. Really? Yeah. The ovary? It's big. So I'm just gonna try to get the tissue loose. Mm. Uh. Mm. Oh, honey. Uh. Yeah. It looks like it it doesn't look round as you described. It looks more it looks more oval, doesn't it? Yeah. Do they have a mating season? We don't know. See, here it is. Oh, it's big. And here's their bladder. I just see, see oh, the urine? Yeah. I just oh, ruptured yeah. the bladder. Yeah. Look how big that is. Wow. Uh, it's pee -pee. huge. They're supposed to have the most eggs of any yeah. fish. Oh, really? Right, but I'll have, no. She's not pregnant. No, no, this is immature. These are immature fish. Oh, babies All inside. All the work we've done. Oh, that's right. It's not a mammal. <laughs> I think of it as a mammal, though. Wow. Wow. This is like the second wow. seed wow. eggs. That is the second largest remarkable. one I've ever gotten. Wow. Wow. Very nice. And you can see the oh, eggs just kind of. supply. And the eggs just kind of poking out. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. right there. Where? Oh. Right in here. Oh, I see. That's right. the ovary tissue. Wow. Right there. So I'll take this back to Bridgewater. I'll weigh it. Yep. Measure it. Take a sample. And mm -hmm. that's what is uh, goes to uh, Woods Hole. Just really? one? Well, they, they don't have... really want much tissue. No, no, I mean, they just have one. Oh, they have one ovary? One ovary. Or one testing. Or one testing. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that is that normal for fish? Mm. Normally, yeah. aren't this they symmetric? Fish is... Right? I know. This fish just breaks all the rules. There's a researcher Ooh, in uh, see right here. That little New Bedford who studies the mucus. Back. Oh, yeah. And he wants me to get mucus from the sunfish. He looks at diet. Looks like a pumpkin, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah. See the meat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful white meat. That. Swordfish. Don't tell anybody. No. Start eating these things. No. Wow. That's the plug. Wow. Now I'm going to take a sample. Cool. And Cleveland, I'm going to need you again when you get a chance. Yep, I'm here. That is okay. amazing. Thickness, as you see, the thickness of the reticulated collagen varies over the area of the animal. It's so like here right. and here, it's very thick. Mm -hmm. And then in other places, it's thinner. Mm -hmm. So I don't. Oh. So I just try to measure mm -hmm. it in the same place. And L? Yeah, I'm looking for the plug. Okay. I can't find it. About 33. 33 millimeters. 33 M? MM. Oh, I'm supposed to take a photograph? It says, um, photograph taken of reproductive organ, yes or no. Well, can, will you guys send me your photos? You got it on your camera. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, wait. You made <laughs> your no. reproductive organ. No, she doesn't have to. Well, she doesn't <laughs> have to what is that thing? Oh, I think, I think yeah, you should weird. take right. that. It's just Part of the bladder. It came through. See, it, oh, came, it came through, through the body. Through. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 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 you're right. Hernia. Her hernia. Okay. Wow. Her hernia. Her hernia. Her. Not a his Wow. Wow, look at this. See how it's like Sorry. sheetrock. Now, this is, this animal's not fresh, but if it was fresh, it would be rigid. We're having fish and chips later. You want to stick around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be good, and we yeah we're not we haven't even cooked it yet. <laughs> All you can eat. Sushi. <laughs> now the uh, kidney usually or liver usually has round worms. Like that. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right wow, a lot of round worms. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Golly, man. They're, they're said to be the heaviest parasitized 
fish. Well, because they're so slow, internal. right? <laughs> really? I think so, yeah. Yeah. External too. And internal. Yeah, if they're fresh, you'll see that they have parasites here, 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 here. And if you look closely, they're all different. It asks really? you to wow. photograph it. What? Oh, the, Eric's got yeah, it. Eric, you going to send me your photos? Yes, dear. Okay. Now, the other thing. Get a photo of the round one. That yep. I have to do before it gets too dark on me. And I'm not yeah. good at this, is I'm going to go for the otolus. Most bony fish, like cod and haddock, have calcified structures in the head, in the skull, called otolus. And the otolus help them somehow balance in a three dimensional water column. So I thought ocean sunfish, heaviest bony fish, their otolus will be like pancakes. But I was wrong. Their otolus are so small, they're like a dried lentil. So here's the hard part is to get in to the skull, and I'm not good at it. That would explain why they're always swimming sideways. Well, yeah. that might, yeah. Hmm. So I usually can get to the skull if I go behind the eye. Okay. And I think this is the skull right here. Hmm. This is the otolus. No. Hang on a second, he wants me to hold it. Oh. That is it. You're kidding me. And wow. I look for those little strands. And th this is the small one. There's like three of them. Wow. So there's no sectioning this and aging this. People have even one sectioned more. it. Yeah. Right. People have sectioned it and there's nothing. It's all grainy. Really? You know, like with regular otolus, they're hard, they're calcified, you can section them. And I'm going to go for more, if I can get it. And as you cut them, it looks like a tree. So you count the number of bands. Wow. And is that, that age-related, the number of bands? Well, it is, is it... for cod and haddock, but they're not sure about, you know, even, you know, this species. I don't even know how to age them. So... You're cutting skull? Yeah, I'm cutting through the skull. It's like cartilage. Their bone is like cartilage. I can slice through their bones like cartilage. Is the weirdest thing you ever saw. So their cartilage is very hard, but their bones are soft. I, I don't know what it is. I can't, no one's been able, oh, look at that. No oh. one's, no one's been able to tell me what this is. And I've taken it to every government lab. So there is inside his skull, and there should be a, a number of those otoliths. Yeah, bigger ones, just a couple bigger ones. Yeah, I, I love you. I love you. Hey, that's a good boy. Wasn't yeah. supposed to be this nice, no. was it? Yes, it was. Every day is supposed that's to be nice. Oh, I thought it was supposed to rain <laughs> so today. Yeah. So these aren't like the semicircular canals in the Yeah, in it's ear, like, or? yeah, it's, I, don't know. I don't know a fish that well. You know? Yeah. I'm not a good fish yeah. person. That's why, you know, I, I go in and I talk to these people who are supposed to know and they... Right. You know, oh, there? No. Okay. They're yeah. oriented in three different three, yeah. Yeah. positions so that... Yeah, the yeah. three planes. Exactly. Right. Do you see the, the strings? Mm -hmm. See those strings? No strings. I just pulled. There's mm -hmm. a bigger one. Wow. Usually I have tide issues. Tides will be coming up on right. me or something like that. But this, is, this is nice. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Hmm. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Isn't that beautiful lady, huh? Any parasites in there? Oh, yeah. How about uh, heavy metal? I don't know. You know, that would be a nice thing to, to check. Yeah. Because I can't. You told me they were fighting. <laughs> And yeah, I'll get you the hand. <laughs> but but they do live. They do opinion. eat pretty low on the food chain, even they though do. they're a big fish. They do. I just those kinds of tests I can't do. Ooh, nice. <laughs> For you, sir. Wow. Yeah, that's the big one. I missed. And if I can show you the brain. Right here. 
here. I mean, it's a walnut. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's right here. This is the brain right in here, covered oh. in that tissue. There's his brain. Not very thick. <laughs> Pea brain. So now that we have that, thank you, Cleveland. Yeah. I'm gonna find the vertebra. There is a technique that they use with some sharks. So I thought, okay, plan A, using the otoliths to age this fish isn't gonna work. So now I need a plan B. My plan B is to take a section of the vertebra and they have rings in the vertebra and perhaps we can come up with an aging, that's the kidney, aging technique that will help us age this fish. Because we know that they're young, but we don't know how old they are. And no one has been able to age them yet. So I take a squat, a section of vertebra. Look at that meat. And I am trying to find a way to slice it thinly. In fact, we're gonna try a deli slicer. We've tried everything else. A friend of mine's bringing a deli slicer to Bridgewater State. And we're gonna see, cause it's, it's very soft bone. If we can age them that way. So I just gotta get to the vertebra. Here's one of the supports going down to the anal okay. fin right here. I'm just gonna clean this up. But I'm, I'm looking for the, the first support that goes down to the anal fin tends to connect to vertebra 10. Mm -hmm. So if I can find vertebra 10, then I work backwards Is and hopefully, number? well, <laughs> <laughs> they don't number them, but we do. They have 17 and I'm just trying to be consistent <coughs> so that when we come up, if we ever come up with a method of aging them, the we will always use the same vertebra yeah. <laughs> and maybe that will help. That's insane, isn't it? Okay, so here's 10. Here's the first support that's coming in to the vertebra. And here's the vertebra. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. To get this up to the center of the fish. <laughs> so here's the vertebra here. Mm -hmm. Maybe as big as I thought. What number it is, right? Except for the fish. See it? See, I'm going by feel. Here are the supports now going to the dorsal fin. I know where 10 is now, and I'm going to clean as much as I can up, cut, and Which release it. Which one are you it. looking for? 10. 17. 17? Seven. 17's at that end. Yeah, what, what, what number are you looking for? I'm looking for 10. If I can find 10, I can cut back here okay. and then take a section forward. Okay. Then I always know I've got the same ones. Okay. I did, I got yuck. Does anybody know where that knife sharpener is? Because I'm going to need it. What did I do with it? There you go. So what's the brown stuff, or should I not ask? That's the kidney. It usually is red, but this guy's been out a while. Is it usually that liquidy? No. He's decomposing on the inside out. And are the, is that a worm in there? Probably. That's why I wouldn't eat these fish. So now I have to try to get this out. to convince this thing to come out.
very Freudian. <laughs> <laughs> that is, well, if that's what you see there, I don't know. <laughs> I see T10 to T5. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that too is very worthy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I have to put this in KOH to remove the tissue. Can't. What we're going to do is we're going to basically disarticulate it. And then measure each vertebra. And then try to figure out how to age them. God, I hope we get a basking shark someday. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd love to see this. <laughs> Did you do a similar process? Yeah, well, then Greg Skoma will come down. They you are need a protected. suit for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they are protected. But you can see where each vertebra attaches yeah. right here. So this is the length of a vertebra right, right here. They're really big. We're going to basically try to clean this up with the KOH and then I wasn't off. cut them. That's about T10 to T5. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Huh? Do you see I the rings? So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> the problem oh, is we yeah. can't count them meaningfully. If oh, I count them right. and you count them, uh, yeah. we'll come up with different counts. Hmm. The other sad thing is that even if we can figure out how to do this, it might not mean anything. It might not mean the age of the fish. Use the ovary as a... Well, we use the ovary to, to see if they're mature and they're not mature. But we can't use... I, I mean, I haven't figured out a way to count those in a standardized way. Every time I look, I get a different count. Always try to open up the intestines to see what they ate, in case it's anything different. This is the liver. Look at the parasites here. There's some nice parasites in here. All roundworms. It's like a round, it looks like a flatworm, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Ooh, they have a gallbladder. Under the liver. Look at this liver. Do they only eat jellyfish? Well, that's what they say. But some people think they can also eat fish. These are teeth, she said. Two teeth. One, two. <sighs> two teeth. One, two. Yeah. There's the gallbladder, and I could punctured it. Oh, yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. so the gallbladder in the spleen. I've taken flatworms out of the intestine and taking it back to Bridgewater and they come back to life and it's so gross. <laughs> I tried to get them in formalin before they spread all over the table. But see, it's mainly just goo. I cut it. See, I cut it by mistake. And it's mainly just goo. Here's the stomach. Sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just smell like it doesn't smell worse. Me too, <laughs> I'm really surprised. <laughs> What are you going for? I'm going to pull it all out. The oh. Oh. Big bag. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. I will. Hefty. <laughs> Contractor. Here's the end. You're going to measure the length? Yep. Yeah. They have 30 feet, just like <laughs> humans. <laughs> It'll be bizarre. <laughs> also, I'm going to regret it. Yeah. Stuck right here.
It could be worse. It could. Where's the shining light in this? What if this was July? You know what you Oh, that's true. All right, you're right. I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah. The whole fly situation alone could really make it much grosser. Look at this squid. The gulls love this. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, see how the stomach is going into the... Esophagus, yep. Yep. right there. Yeah. So the esophagus gets weak. So I'm gonna cut it up here. That big a stomach. I can eat you. Anymore. Bladder that I ruptured. Keep your mouth shut. <coughs> Alright. Now we're gonna measure this thing. Maybe. 526. Yeah. Sounds good. He's got the dude for the length of the intestine. Got it. So I'm gonna give you, and this is a new one. So it goes into their stomach? Well, this is where the, yeah, the bile, the, the liver the stuff comes into the base of the stomach instead of the oh. intestine. You're right, it's weird, it's different. You can always tell where the stomach starts because it's rough. Mm -hmm. See, it's really starting right here. You can see all the... Yeah, yeah, and the striations. Yeah. So that's about... Ten point five centimeters, where the base of that is going. And a lot of variability. I know, isn't it? <laughs> a lot. A lot. Well, you don't have a lot of landmarks. No. <laughs> See, so there's that stomach, that nice stomach tissue. Oh yeah. Huh. All that for jellyfish. Somehow I thought that there would be for jellyfish. Jellyfish in yeah, there. Right, Tan. What were they thinking? Maybe that's what jellyfish look like when they're, okay, you know, so taken down to their... I can't tell you where the stomach ends. Minimum. See the goo? Oh. I really don't see anything that tells me where the stomach ends, other than where that... Right. The external. I mean, if that's the stomach, that's small. Cut, cut down a little bit farther and just see if there's any change in the tissue. You can see it bends right here right so it might be i'm thinking the end of the stomach might be right here yeah right there hmm it's interesting though it that looks you don't, muscular it, right it, yeah it does. Mm. it does i just can't tell i can tell two things right like this could be a kind of pylorus in mm -hmm. there oh what's that a cut oh. that's just it. a cut i did it okay yeah i don't see how it looks yeah, right it, does. Right it does. It does, right in that It does bend. look like a muscular ridge in there. Do you feel it? Can you feel a muscular ridge it there? It does. So you want to measure that? We'll just add a new column. And we'll do uh, stomach length. We'll assume that's it. Where was I now? Yeah, right I'm here? Right there? And that's about 33 centimeters. 33? Right yeah. Now I can, I can tell you one other place that I can measure. <laughs> And I'm going to open this all up, and it's down here. This is the vent, and there is a sphincter not this high up. There, there, to see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that, yeah. that I can tell. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I'll clean it up a little bit. That's the rectum, then. Uh, yeah, and They're I think they call it the cloaca. cloaca. I think because yeah. everything ends up in it. Yeah. And right. what's, what's Where the chickens length? chickens have eggs. Yep. From... So but gonna... it's not a true cloaca because no. they have two openings. I know, you're so, absolutely so right. It's, it's, it's not, not a, a true cloaca. <laughs> it's not. Because they have two openings. So you're and... supposed to have one, yeah. Yeah, so this is about 30, 31 centimeters. Huh. 
And that's, uh, Rick, did you get that one at the, yep. okay, you're good. Anybody want to take a picture of the, I'll put this right here just in case. Right. And then I'm just going to open it up and see if we find anything other than goo. All right. But I've never found anything but goo. This is pretty bad goo, which is an indication. Usually it's that uh, light yellow color. It's, oh, indication that it's been I'm floating around for a while. <laughs> 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 But usually, see, it's just. DPW's gonna love this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, a clean up. We're right into the sun. I don't want. Thanks. Thanks clean so up. Much. Usually, it's usually this color. Clean up aisle oh, yeah. one. Now, I can bury a lot of this with L's. Uh, oh. Uh, word, whatever. Shovel. Shovel. Over there. Yeah. yeah. But that carcass. And what we're gonna do, too, is. Do you think they're going to bury the carcass, Dan? I don't know. Flatworms, tapeworms? Really? In the stomach? Or How intestine? How do you tell the difference? They look so much the same to me. Well, I, cause this or is guy's it just so, the location? Yeah, this guy's so decomposed. He's not making it easy. I've never found anything but goo. No fish, no otoliths, no anything. Now, of course, I'm getting the ones that are... Yeah. Floating around for a while, so. Yeah. You know. Huh. Nothing. Made a hell of a surge in Krill, yet I made a hell of a surge. Slash and burn, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Delicate we are not. All right. Could someone put the stuff in the cooler? Because they really should be on ice. And they should be... So I've got these three and all that stuff. The cooler's got ice in it. Oh yeah, that'd be great. And I'll go for the gills. Are you going to take any of the eye or is it just too badly damaged? I actually damaged? would love the other, the other, other eye. eye. Because some people can you know age means. using the eyes. <laughs> Double glove. <laughs> Are those gills there, the rake? Uh, um, those are just the, I don't know, Eric, you're going to have to tell me. <laughs> hey, listen, let me just get this. They have four and a half sets of gills. So there's one set, another set. Mm -hmm. See, of course, this guy is coming in the surf a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, this is the hardest part. I already got you. You don't want to come off. Oh, I see. So that debris was forced in there by the surf, or yeah. was that actually inhaled? No, I think it was the surf, like the sea turtles. They come in with a lot of... Oh, boy. Right. Wowie. A lot of stuff. Okay. There you go. And then you go all the way back yeah. here. Any parasites in there? No. Let's this keep going. Hard to tell. This is where it's hard to cut. Because it's the thickest. Well, I have an electric carving knife in case you need to borrow it. See how they go all the way down? All the way back. Yeah. So we could rig that up from Captain Jack's. Pretty cool, huh? So if they had the parasites, you'd see them. Mm -hmm. In between here, mm -hmm. and they're greenish. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Yeah, it see really that? is. It's amazing. That's so the water's flowing this way and out. Interesting okay. structures there on the. Yeah. Those, uh... Yeah, isn't that neat? And they have fringial teeth. I'll try to find them for you. They have spines in their throat that they use to, we think, to keep the jellyfish down. 
Like turtles have spines. I would have trouble keeping jellyfish. No, I don't see. Yeah, that's the first too. one I've never found those parasites. And it might just be because it's too old. One, two, three, four and a half. They abandon ship when the, they know their host is dead or? Not usually. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, God. There they are. Look at these things. What? Oh, wow. See these things? Yeah. I'll clean them up in a second. Oh, my God. Amazing. They're spines. And you Amazing. think they're used to help keep the jellyfish from coming back? And up some people think throat. shredding, too. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Like Can that. In there? I'll clean it up. Oh, but okay. Neat stuff, and they're, and they're muscular, and they've got a lot of connective. You know, like they're like they can really control them. See the bulb? Yeah. Oh, okay. Neat, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he's very young and very timid. Good. See that? And there's a second one right here. The upper throat. You can say dehydration. Oh. Huh? See the second one? Dehydration. Second to. Uh, See oh. the second pair? Yeah. yeah. And that's how the video ends. It just ended. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're on with KOHs, that's potassium hydroxide, which is just a strong base that you can use to dissolve flesh. Um, and I, if there's any other questions you had, uh, leave in the comments. Maybe I or somebody else will be able to answer them. They talked for a bunch about like T2 to T10 or something. I didn't. I don't know what that is, but maybe somebody else does. All right. Thank you for watching this video of an ocean sunfish necropsy, and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I mean, heck, if I'm going to watch an hour long video, I might as well edit it so that it's right side up when it when it's right side up. So thank you to Roe Anderson for taking the video. Thank you to the New England Ocean Sunfish and Basking Shark Project for for providing this for everybody. This video is from 2015 and now available right side up, finally.